Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today guys, tonight, this evening, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about some new packs that got added. We also are going to have the traditional uh, end of the video with some other things that happened in the stream today. Uh, I just wanted to go over a couple of things before we get into anything in the video today. Uh, number one, I just want to say to all of you guys on YouTube that maybe have come over and watched the streams recently um, or anything like that, guys. I really appreciate it. I, your support from even just coming into a stream at some time this year has been crazy. I told uh, a lot of my core viewers that a month or two ago, uh, I got into this like ad program on Twitch, which it sucks to, to run more ads, but I am I have been able to give away like so much money because of it. And it's just awesome, man. Like I love doing that. So it's been a huge W for me. Uh, and it's been a really great year on Twitch. So thank you to everybody who's been watching a stream or two uh, between... Um, the FIFA stuff, the Pez stuff, everything, man. The the freaking trial streams. Thank you guys, man, for watching. And number two, we did a massive campaign. So many of you guys from YouTube came over yesterday to watch with Coca-Cola and GoPuff. It was really, really fun. They gave us a challenge, basically, uh, to get a certain amount of points in the stream within two hours in games. And it was just a lot of fun. Um, and I have a code that I'll put in the link in the description down below. It is a, uh, I believe 50% off all Coca-Cola products or a buy one or get one free at coca-cola.com slash gopuff. Sorry, at gopuff.com slash Coca-Cola. My bad. Um, but anyways, just a huge thank you guys. Cause I want to say for all you guys that watch my YouTube and everything, a lot of these opportunities come because you guys watch my stuff, right? So I'm never going to lose sight of that. And I'm always very grateful for it. I want you guys to know that we're going to get into it. We have some new packs added, um, after this, we're also going to take a look. We've got a couple of new uh, Path to Glory upgrades. We're also going to talk about Winter Wildcard swaps. That's going to be in two weeks, I believe. But, so, some new packs added uh, into the uh, store today. We had a, uh, a 381 Midfielders pack, a 381 Attackers pack, and a 381 Defenders pack. Now, my take is that this will either be SBCs um, or... Uh, it'll be either SBCs or... I got to try to figure out how to get these... Uh, out here we're gonna do this uh we're gonna do this i think that's good we also gonna have a prime uh gaming pack very soon as well but i think there'll be sbcs or um moment store now the reason i'm saying the moment store is that the moment store actually refreshes when the season ends and this season does end very soon i think it's in about nine days so we may end up seeing that this eight days now this is going to expire and some of these are going to be added via here could happen. I remember around this time, we kind of got the leak of some new packs added. We all thought 83 Team of the Week picks were going to go on Foot Champs. And this was about a 10-day before add into the code. So this time that EA had added them into the code today kind of makes sense. And I could see it being something like this. Um, I don't think that Prime Gaming pack would be there. You've also got an 88-plus Mid or World Cup Icon pack. Now, what was really interesting is that the code got updated today on a Tuesday, which means we may also see another code update on Thursday. We don't really know yet. But that's kind of interesting because Tuesdays, usually we're not going to get stuff in the code uh, that's an SBC. Usually that update is on Thursday and we get SBC Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's interesting they put the stuff in the code. Make of it what you think. Um, you also got an 8325. You got an 8510 and you got a foot 23 position players pack. Now, one thing I didn't go over is that we've got this FIFA World Cup History Makers pack. Contains one FIFA World Cup History Makers player and one mid icon or base hero loan for seven games. Now, the History Makers um, is something that EA had kind of teased a month ago. It's um, it's going to be, I think, one player from each nationality, potentially in the World Cup. It might not be every uh, nationality. I don't know if it's only like 16 players. I think it should be 32, but I don't really know. And the, apparently there's going to be an opportunity to get like an upgrade and then another upgrade. So I think there's two chances to get upgrades with those cards. Um, it's going to be obviously a I think one player so you're just gonna have to get lucky it should be just obviously a normal pack i think that will probably come out some point in the end of december or probably the start of january i don't know when they had said it but i think it, i think remembering they said january now the the really interesting pack to talk about here is obviously in my opinion the 85 10 and the 88 plus mid or world cup icon pack also the 83 25 right we just had what did we just have in swaps 84 20 i think so 83 25 five more players I don't know. Is that better? Is it worse? I don't know. Um, but this is interesting. 88 plus mid or World Cup icon. So this, I'm thinking, is going to be an SBC. I mean, I don't know. It could be something for swaps. Would they put this type of pack in the moment store? I don't know. Is it possible that maybe they'd put an 85-10 in there? 
Maybe, may, you know, maybe it is possible. It's, it's a large step up to put in the moment store. Could one of these packs be in there? Maybe. I mean, the moment store had a massive upgrade from last season. And I think EA liked to do this to incentivize um, people playing more moments and, you know, that data increasing for their sales and their marketing. Um, but obviously, you know, some of those packs being put here would have a higher token amount for sure. And, uh, would be obviously a crazy, crazy upgrade. So look, I'm, I'm all for that. I hope they, they do make it rewarding. Um, it's not that much time to grind these moments out. It would just be, um, obviously a little crazy, but yeah, nobody saw this 85 plus player pick coming. I mean, this was like super random. So who's to say it couldn't be, uh, one of those now, other than that, I don't think there was anything too crazy that was added. Uh, you got this, you got a couple of these packs, which are like FIFA World Cup Phenoms, uh, one swap token, five rare players with one guarantee 83 or higher. So I'm assuming that these are going to be very, they, I think these might've already come out at some point. They just got re-added. Um, so they just got modified, which means I think they're probably going to come out again. I don't know for sure. Um, one thing to talk about real quick before we talk about swaps. So the 88 mid icon would look something like. Um, we got to select mid. Now, all of the World Cup icons are 88 plus. I looked at this on stream today. They're already all 88 plus. So there's no elimination with any of those. Now, regarding the mid icons, obviously, there's a lot of really, really top tier cards still and very expensive cards, right? R9, 7 mil, Pele, almost 4 mil, Zidane, 2 mil, Puskas, 1. Point, you know, uh, 1.1 mil, Maldini, 900K. I mean, you've got a lot of top tier players, Zidane, Hullet, Dino. Um, you know, you do have a lot of bad ones, but... 88 also doesn't really feel like it gets rid of that much, but I think it does get rid of still a little bit. Um, you do have some 87s that aren't great. You're still going to have, I think, like 88 Litman in, in here, um, which is not ideal. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that one is interesting. I, it'll be interesting to see what that's released as. I'm really praying that EA don't put some crazy tax on that because it shouldn't be that expensive. Um, I hate when EA just put these crazy premiums on icons. I don't think icons with the way chemistry is working this year should be as expensive, so... We will see what EA ends up doing for that. That will be very interesting. Um, 8325, 8510. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Wildcard swaps. This is what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking that this is going to be a part of wildcard swaps. Now, this was the token system last year. A majority of the tokens last year were all SBCs. I think there was a couple that weren't. Maybe a couple were in the store. But for the most part, a lot of these were SBCs. So it really was kind of nice because you just had to log in pretty much every day. Uh, two tokens for the 50k pack, three tokens for an 81 to 89, which was actually really OP. I remember they had put that pack specifically into the store and it was nuts. I did it a couple times and I profited almost every time. Yeah, they put some kit, which would be like, imagine taking a kit. Imagine, like, you know, imagine taking a kit from freaking swaps. That's like the ultimate flex. 125k pack for five. Um, DACA was actually decent. Some people ended up taking him. He was not super fun to play against. Um, I think EA for sure and FIFA 23 have been doing a much better job of putting like really meta and usable players in swaps. I've just taken Vieira from Icon Swaps. So I think EA did do a much better job with that. 15 tokens for the 8510. That was obviously the large appeal. Uh, you could get them on the 26th of December. That's what the 81 to 89 looked like. Um, other than that, I think the, the 8510 was the top tier option that you guys could get. Um, this is Foot Mentor's video, so shout out to him. Alongside daily themed content, players will have the opportunity to take part in the wildcard swaps program. SBCs and objectives. It was mainly SBCs for the most part, from what I remember. Uh, and you could take combinations. I remember you could also take, you know, a couple. So really what I was just kind of getting to there is like, I, I feel like these feel the most likely to be used in the moment store update. Um, obviously, you know, they're not going to be better than the top tier options. So I'm assuming there's going to be some better top tier options. Um... And then I'm thinking that there's a chance that maybe some of these packs are in swaps. Um, I feel like the 8510 is going to be there. Um, I feel like the 8325 maybe has a chance to be like that top tier option. I'm not too sure. Um, but it's interesting too when you think about it because the, the token system is really going to be taxed differently. Like an SBC mainly token system, obviously an 8510 for 15. If you told me an 8510 for like 15 icon swap tokens, I don't know if that would be worth it because icon swap tokens you got to grind man it's like way harder than just completing an spc every day so make of that what you think but yeah and then the last thing i really wanted to go over before we uh look at the packs or anything like that today we got some crazy upgrades and i feel like they're just been they've been really really slept on um and kunku is insane i was just looking at this card today like 
he's down at 3.8 mil, but he is now five star, five star. Um, it's just crazy. You know, France played tomorrow. You guys might watch this video by the point that they had already finished their match, but he still got the chance uh, to get two more upgrades, which is mental. I mean, that's just crazy. So he could be a 93 with 5'5", five, five, and like these stats, it's just broken. It's literally broken. I mean, 93 agility, 95 balance, 91 finishing, 93 ball control, 94 dribbling. What a card, man. Um, this is probably turning out to be the best box-to-box -box in the game. He's got outside foot and finesse shot. Um, you love to see it. I think, I, I'm not 100% certain, but I think Alejandro Gomez is getting something with an upgrade because of today. I don't know exactly what. He's now extinct. Enzo Fernandez is also getting an upgrade. I don't know anybody else. I think Griezmann is probably 5'5 five, five now. Um, let's double check and see. Yeah, he's 2 mil, so he's got to be 5'5. Five, five. No, he's 4'5, but if France win tomorrow, he's going to get 5'5, five, five, and he will, he will definitely go up in price more because 5'5 five, five is going to be quite the premium and obviously you guys can see by the prices um you know people are uh, people are expecting that so we will see what happens there but these path of glories have been really really crazy to follow um and uh we're gonna have to see what happens i mean a lot of excitement with the world cup and a lot of upsets so we're gonna get into the packs guys thanks for watching this part of the video i appreciate it guys much love to all you guys and we'll see you guys in the video later peace are you gonna open it right now or can i turn my heat down bro oh he's open it hold up Oh, oh, wait, 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 91 reaction, 66, 60. yo, the middle might be crazy, right? Butra, hey, I saw the middle, I was like, that's pretty, yo, that's pretty good. We take that, man, that's a W, four-star skills for Butra, that's sick. I saw the middle, I was like, that's good, I saw, it's so funny, because I saw 66 strength, and I'm like, that's probably nasty. Yo, I'm addicted to doing that, like, rainbow pass, dude, I love doing that. I'm actually like addicted to that. I do that so many times on breakaways. Probably. Gonzalo, what's up? I don't even know how you find it, man, because like Twitch doesn't even advertise it. It's like hard to find. You have to like go on like a Reddit and find this like old Twitch link, bro. They still have it active though. You can't tell anyone though. It's literally like Twitch's largest secret, bro. It's crazy. Can I take your sister to prom? No, man. I'm not taking your sister to prom. Yo, what are these packs, bro? Yo! Yo! That's kind of crazy. That's from an 8420? I mean, that's kind of dope. That's the first World Cup icon we've seen this week from 8420. Those are pretty rare. He's not very good, though, right? He's like probably at 50K. Still an icon, man. You're not going to complain. I got Loudrop and I was happy, man. 80K. Bro, I was sitting here with Loudrop, and I was like, oh, my God, it's crazy. All right, we got to do that. That guy's compensation pick, too. That was terrible. Chat, I think compensation picks are not going to be good. Look at this guy's team, chat. Yo, he's got a full icon team. What? Is this all untradeable, man? Jerzinho on the bench, man? Oh, you bought it. All right, I'm about to say. Did you pack a Richa? Wow, you did. That is crazy. Icons are cool though, man. I mean, I, I like that. That's it's really fun to play with an icon team. Mascherano. Mascherano was really heavy in the rotation, man. Really heavy. Oh my god, was that an 8420? Chad. Jeez. Hey, but Trent wasn't in the pack. That's what I'm saying. For the most part, that Trent theory is right. Yo! Imagine moments are nine in a team with mid Baggio. Trent theory is basically that Trent's gold card is in pretty much every good pack. Oh, I thought you just packed Jude, bro. I thought you honestly just packed Jude. How did you get an 8220 with a special and the other guy got no specials? That's crazy. Yo, 100k pack. Yo, let's go. Do we have a rating minimum, please, EA? 84. Okay, let's get an icon EA. Come on. You can't be serious. That's Suarez as well. That's going to be my highest rate, I think. Woo! Objective packs, baby. Deserved. Truly deserved. Is that an 81 plus pick? Nah, you're not taking that, bro. No way. Oh, he's doing it, man. Does it open right away? Oh, my God. He got Diaz, man. That's not horrible. You got a walkout. I mean, he got four walkouts. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, you have a mystery pack as well? Oh, nice. 
I think that's from uh, Seasons, bro. I had one too. What did the dinosaur say when he stepped on a tooth pick? Nothing. They're extinct. That's a bit dry. Is that one good, chat? I feel like that one's a bit dry.